Being a trader is good. Hear me out. A great mechanic in board games is the idea that someone on your team might secretly be working against you the entire time. Now, why is this a great addition to a game? Well, I'm glad you asked, rhetorical device. To answer that, it's time for a deep dive into the trader mechanic. When a game has a trader mechanic, that means that one or more players either might be or definitely are working against everyone else in the game. Now, I would place these games into two different categories. The first being games like Resistance, Werewolf, and Secret Hitler, where trying to figure out who the traders are is the entire game, or at least most of it. Now, if you can figure out who the traders are, and especially if you can convince your team, you basically win. I find that games like this appeal more to players who are interested not so much in complex mechanics, but in negotiation and personal interaction. The other type includes games like Battlestar Galactica, Shadows Over Camelot, and of course Dead of Winter, among plenty of others. And these are games that have fully fledged mechanics, objectives, and gameplay that has nothing to do with finding the traitor. I mean, yeah, if you can find the traitor, that's great, it makes your objectives a lot easier, but it doesn't guarantee your victory. Which is why I think these games appeal a lot more to players who prefer to have more strategy and depth in their board games. So even though these two varieties cater towards uh, different playstyles, preferences, and personalities, the three P's of gaming, don't trademark that, they both bring something special to the board gaming world. Uncertainty. <laughs> Looking across the table at your friends and loved ones, people who you would normally trust with your lives and not being able to tell for sure that they aren't lying to your face, that's a truly unique experience. Now, I don't re recommend every board game designer go out and add trader mechanics to their games, because obviously it's not going to work for every game type, but when it does, wow, so good. Now, a quick caveat to this, in order to be able to enjoy this mechanic, you're going to have to be able to leave it all on the table once the game's over. If you get mad at your friend because they lied to you in order to win, because that's what they had to do, then these games maybe aren't for you, and that's okay. It's... Yeah, it's easy to say you, know, you should get over it because it's just a game, but that's a legitimate concern for some people. So if you have a friend who doesn't like being lied to, like really doesn't like being lied to or having to lie themselves, don't make them play. You can find another game. There's literally tons out there. That was my quick take on the trader mechanic and how it applies to board gaming. I think Dead of Winter might be my favorite trader game, but Secret Hitler is pretty fun too. And if you have any favorite trader games or any great stories, leave them in the comments below and we'll talk about it. The next game I'll be teaching is Above and Below, which I think might be my favorite uh, board game to come out of 2016. So make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when that comes out. See you next time.